one. I feel like I've been talking a lot about politics recently. I tend to do that when my love life's a bit dry. So I thought I'd take some advice. And I know I said in one of my previous videos that I was going to destroy Anna Bay. This isn't really destroying her. This is just taking her advice and my hot take on it and seeing if I agree with where to find a rich man. Because when I typed into Google, where to find a rich man. Unsurprisingly, Anna was one of the first hits that came up and she has an article and I'm gonna to refer to an article that she wrote in 2019 and she does have a classy cheat sheet and I am wearing a red bra under a black dress so in Anna's opinion that probably makes me a whore. I'm just going to go through for a bit of fun where she says we should meet rich men because hey, we're always evolving on this channel and we're always learning and we don't know everything. The first one, where to meet rich men. Number one, ladies, we've all been doing it wrong. We need to go to the dry cleaner. Apparently, this is where educated women that want to meet a suitable, eligible bachelor should go. We should go to the dry cleaners. My first thought when I read this was, well, if he's going to the dry cleaners himself, then he's not wealthy enough for me. Surely someone that was wealthy would have an assistant and they would do all their dry cleaning for them. That was the first thought that popped into my head. As someone like me that's worked in financial services since 22, because sadly I've been unable to secure myself a hypergamous husband, I can tell you the majority of men these days don't wear suits. It's much more laid back. Most men will wear shirts, jumpers, sometimes a cute cardigan. You won't get men that wear a lot of suits these days. Unless they're specifically going out for a business meeting, it's going to be much more casual. So I would say, ladies, do not waste your time hanging around the dry cleaners. You're not going to find a rich man. All you're going to find is the rich man's assistant. Number two high-end grocery stores. Well, I've also been shopping in Waitrose for a number of years and I have not been able to find myself a high-value man. I tend to just find coupled up peoples that are having arguments or families with children. I haven't really found a high-value man going to high-end grocery stores. Although one tip I would give you ladies is if you want to find a rich man, hit the supermarkets at between six and seven on a weekday evening, because this is when the man will come out of work, they won't know how to cook because they don't have a wife, so they'll just hit the ready meal section, then you're likely to find someone. Number three, expensive gyms. I don't think this is bad advice from Anna. It's a pretty good shout. But I think you obviously, you're going to have to have money in the first place to go to the expensive gyms. And a lot of people searching out a man because of their hypergamous nature will probably not be in the position to afford an expensive gym. So my advice would be to not eat food and instead hang around these gyms wearing tight clothing and then you should be able to find a high value man that way because you'll just be in the vicinity of them. That would be my advice to just not eat, to buy Gymshark clothing and just hang around a gym. I think that would be the best thing to do. Hanging around galleries. Well, I do think it would be a really nice way to meet someone. If you're really into art and you're just on a Saturday morning, you're just going around a gallery and then you just happen to meet this handsome stranger that approaches you and then you can discuss the artwork. Probably not going to happen in real life. I think, if I'm honest, you're going to be wasting a lot of time hanging around art galleries trying to find a man that way. So if you are going to go to the art galleries, just do it because you like art. Don't do it because you're lying in wait hoping for a man to approach you because, ladies, that just brings off desperate energy and you don't want to put that out. Number five, antiques fairs. I probably wouldn't recommend this because I think you're just going to end up with an old man and I think that's okay if he's really old and then you can just wait for him to die and then when he dies 
you can just steal all his money and have all his money. I mean, you can hang around antique fairs. I probably personally wouldn't do that because you're just going to be around old people. Anna, Anna, is, is this one a red herring? Have you, have you put this one in for a bit of fun? Because number six is Mykonos. Apparently, to find a high value man, I need to go to Mykonos. My first thought when she said Mykonos was to say, isn't that a bit lads, lads, lads? Am I really going to find my husband on an 18 to 30 to Mykonos? Especially when I don't drink, so it's going to be a bit awkward. Um, but apparently, I need to head to Mykonos. Anna, please tell me why I need to go to Mykonos. Apparently, single men go on holiday in groups, which, yeah, I would agree with Anna. And apparently they all head to Mykonos and Ibiza. It's not all private islands and ski resorts, said Anna. Contrary to popular belief that there'll be no marriage material, if you're open and outgoing, you could meet your future husband. Well, there we go. Obviously 2023, I'm gonna be heading to Mykonos to find myself a rich man. I can't remember what number we're on, but it's weddings. Weddings isn't really a bad shout, but I find people aren't really getting married these days. So the opportunities to go to weddings seems to be few and far between. It seems to be people tend to live together these days. And I do think she does have a point. If you're stuck on the single loser table at a wedding, it's not really a great experience. It's the wedding nightmare, isn't it? being invited to a wedding and having no one to go with. I think the best course of action is just to bring someone along that you're vaguely connected with so you don't have to sit on the loser table. Make sure that you're not related to them first. That would be my only advice. I think that piece of advice is pretty important. Just make sure that the bloodlines aren't tied in this scenario. Wine bar. That's that's pretty straightforward, meeting a wine bar. Obviously I don't drink, so I'm free, but I suppose I could have a soft drink at the wine bar and it'd be fine. The thing she does say that I do find funny is, we are women who are not chasing men. We're women who are strategically placing ourselves in areas where there's a high ratio of affluent men. This is where I've been going wrong, but I, th I think Anna, really? isn't strategically placing yourselves in certain places the same as chasing men i mean come on anna it's it's pretty similar isn't it it's playing part of the game of putting yourself where you think there's going to be high value men i would argue that is the same as chasing it's just another way of politely phrasing it so as to not be desperate feminine energy but at the same time if you stay at home in your bedroom, you're not going to find a high value man, are you? Oh, there's one thing. This is, this is where I've been going wrong, people. Oh, here she goes, here she goes. I like this. There is one thing I don't believe in, ladies, and that's to be desperate and chasing men and running around town hunting and chasing. Well, yeah, you've got a good point there, Anna. I mean, we've all seen on my previous catalogue of what happens when I chase men and it doesn't work out. So maybe, Anna, maybe you're onto something and I should be more passive and feminine and not wear red bras under black dresses because that's slutty. Dog park. Mm, it's not a bad shout, but I don't want to say this on camera. I'm not really an animal person. And people always think that if you're not an animal person, it means you're just like Hitler or something. But I do like animals, but I just think there were just a lot of effort and a lot of time. I suppose that is a good shout because you've got common interests and if you both like dogs, then you can both go there and meet for your dogs. Although I don't think you're gonna meet a rich man at a dog park. I think you're just gonna meet a man at a dog park. And the last one, Anna, the last one on your list of where to meet wealthy men, airports. Well, this only works if you're going on holiday. If you're not going on holiday, then it's just gonna be creepy. Hanging around at airports for no reason, trying to snag a high value man in business class. I think Anna, this only works if you're a traveler yourself and you travel a lot for work, then yes, I could see that this could work. But 
the majority of people like me have no reason to be hanging around at an airport. We're likely to be taken away by security. So I kind of disagree with this one, Anna, partially. I think it only works if you travel a lot for work. The average person like me, this advice sadly isn't going to work. And there you are. I've hoped you've enjoyed learning how to be a classy lady like me. And hopefully you'll go on to find a rich man due to your hypergamous nature. And you can live a life where you don't have to worry. Because that's all that ladies want at the end of the day. We don't want to work. We hate feminism. Goodbye.